Good evening, everyone, and happy Thursday night. Here we are in front of the Christmas tree. I thought this was the perfect time to have a little discussion with you regarding a question I received this week. For those of you who haven't been here before, my name is Angie with I Feel the Rush here in Brilliant, Wisconsin. And the premise of I Feel the Rush is to bring your out bring your memories from the outdoors in so that you can relive those experiences time and time again. I hope we're looking okay here. I'm having a little technical difficulty tonight. But for those of you who are here, hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me again. If you haven't been with us before, we're here live every Thursday night, 8 p.m. Central. And here comes the dog. It's like a, a night of noises and sounds. And so we're just going to go with the flow because this is real life. But what I have for you tonight is we're going to do something a little different. We've been doing this all year. Every Thursday, you guys have been joining me. I've been doing different projects. We've been sharing laughs. We've been sharing crazy ideas. And you've always stuck with me, regardless of the, the crazy things that I come up with. And hopefully you've found some inspiration throughout the year and it's gotten those creative juices flowing. I just wanted to share a question with you tonight that I received from a follower, uh, a gentleman from our community named Jim. Jim asks, how do I select my first memory decor project? I'm not a crafter. Jim, so many of us can relate to that question. I mean, myself included, even though I would consider myself creative, there are some people who consider crafting a very particular process, very meticulous and getting all the pieces right. And then there's me somewhere way over there where every week I'm generally starting my projects maybe a half hour before our live because I have a lot of ideas and a lot of things going on. And so I find I work best by picking this and picking that and putting it together. So for all of you out there, who are just unsure of what the process might be. Where do I get started? How do I even do these projects? I don't wanna buy them, I want to make them myself, so what do I do? I have three easy steps to start with for those of you who are just getting started for the first time and not sure exactly where to start from. So for those of you who are unsure and you're not the uh, on a whim type crafter, then I would suggest following a few easy steps. And we're just gonna go through them real quick and then I'm gonna share some projects with you. Step number one, I would say, where do you wanna put this memory decor? Do you have a mantle you'd like to place it on? Is there a wall? Maybe you're looking to decorate the tree this year. I guess maybe that's a good place to start if you're really unsure which project you want to do because there are so many. If you really are here with us each week, or you've checked out our videos on YouTube or the past Facebook's lives, Facebook lives, you see there are so many different projects to work on. So first, where are you thinking of maybe putting this first piece of memory decor? Secondly, look for inspiration. You can find that on Google, on Pinterest, on our website, our Facebook page. There are tons of people out there who are making memory decor whatever you wanna call it, using feathers, hides, antlers, different things from their outdoors ex outdoor experiences, cattails, duck wings, you name it, we've got it. I can't be the only one. So I'm sure you have a box of this or a box of that laying around. Whatever you're looking to work with, start Googling that. You have duck wings, look up crafting with duck wings. You have cattails or antlers or whatever it might be. That might be the second tip is looking for some inspirational pieces, no matter where that is. It doesn't just have to be here. This is just one step, one place. So that being said, if you're looking for some inspiration on what to do with those pieces, drop it in the comments below. I would love to comment on it. I'm sure other people have ideas. I'd love to see the feed as people share different projects that they've been working on, maybe with those same materials. So one, where do you wanna put this piece? Two, what kind of items do you have laying around the house that you would like to use? Because the reality is for us, I love cabin decor. I don't love the commercial cabin decor prices. Let's face it, it's super expensive, it's ridiculous. So when you pull those things out from nature and you bring them inside, a lot of times we can make things that are even more beautiful than what you're gonna buy in the store for a lot less. 
So that would be the second thing. Look for some inspiration on what kind of piece you want to make. Number three, write down the materials that you're going to need. Chances are you have a lot of those laying around the house and you can make your piece very inexpensively using nails, hot glue, hammer, whatever it is. Um, but if you're using antlers of your own, you're using feathers of your own, you're using, you know, rope, whatever it is, you probably have those materials. So don't think that you need to go out and buy a bunch of supplies and figure out how to put it together. Where do you want to put that piece? What kind of piece are you looking to make? And thirdly, write down the materials. Lastly, write down some steps on how you think that's going to go together. If you really are starting from ground zero and you've never done a piece like this, a memory decor piece, it's best just to jot down a few ideas of what you're looking at for the process so you don't get frustrated. Because sometimes creating these pieces, if you've never done it before, can be exciting, but it can also be a little scary because you're not sure how it's going to turn out. And I'm not going to lie. There are a lot of things that I make that don't, don't turn out anything like what I think they're going to. But the one thing that I do embrace and the one thing that I want to encourage you guys tonight, I thought was a good time after a whole year of showing you some example of projects that you can be working on is to embrace the fact that it's not going to work out exactly the way that you plan. In fact, most everything does not work out the way that you have it planned. So it's just like anything in life. And if we really could be serious about it, it just doesn't matter. There, it doesn't have to be perfect. What we need to do is try to release ourselves from the judgment. Don't worry about what people are going to say about the piece. Don't worry if they like it. The question is, do you like it? And if you like the piece and you like the memories that it embraces, if you've got antlers and it was an amazing hunt and you're looking to make a memory decor piece with that antler, then it really doesn't matter what anybody else thinks about it. It was your antler. It's your story. It's your memory. So let it be your piece. Don't worry about if you looked at a picture and you want it to look something like that. Great. Use that as an example, but don't use that as a comparison piece when you're going back to look at your finished product. Because I can tell you if I compared my pictures next to my finished project, Probably 90% of them would be what you would consider a Pinterest fail. But the reality is, I see it and I think it's amazing. And that's all that matters. So please let that be a message for somebody out there who's considering making something, but you're just not thinking that you're qualified for it. You're qualified. It the Crafting. <laughs> it does not take any qualification other than materials. Materials and time. So... That's a message, hopefully, for somebody out there. For those of you just joining in, the question today was from um, somebody in our community named Jim saying, how do I select my first memory decor piece? He's not a crafter. So I just wanted to share with everybody that you don't have to be a quote unquote crafter. And I don't even know what that means. Um, if you're feeling creative and you want to give it a try, then you're qualified. So I thought that would be a great time. And this is a great time to be bringing that up because we're working our way into Christmas. And for those of you who are looking at the budget going, well, it just doesn't, there's no room for those kind of for expensive gifts this year. That's not what it's about anyway. So let's kind of step back from that whole mentality of Black Friday shopping and spending all the money. And let's look around the house because chances are if you're an outdoorsy person, your family's also outdoorsy. Your family also embraces those memories. You probably got pictures of time together out in the woods. You've got Things laying around, around the house like I do. Please, I got duck wings stuck in the tree. So we have all, and no one around here thinks that's weird. So um, look at the things that you have laying around and then let's get creative about making our Christmas presents, our holiday presents that we're giving to people because really what we want to do with them is we want to share time together and we want to show them how important they are to us. So you can do that by taking some things and putting them together and making a present that not only it's not decorated just for Christmas, like who needs another wreath, right? Another Christmas wreath. Hey, Wendy, thanks for joining me. Exactly. So let's do that. Let's think this year when we're working our way into making presents, do you have pictures of time together with someone? What were you doing? Use something from that experience to make a piece that they can have out and they can remember that every day throughout the entire year, not just during the holidays. So that's the message for Jim, for everyone out there who sees this. Please use your creativity. 
think outside the box, think memories, and that's the whole premise of memory decor. So that being said, I did want to mention just after the first of the year, you will be able to download a PDF that I'm making of a full array of memory decor as inspiration for you guys. It's going to be free. I'm going to have it on our website, ifeeltherush.com. So I will let you guys know here as soon as that's available. I'm working on it now. Um, just kind of bringing together all of the ideas that we've already had on Facebook's lives, Facebook lives, and also what you might be seeing in Facebook lives in 2020. 2020 is going to be a big year, folks. I cannot wait. But I must mention, if there are any ideas that you haven't seen in our lives or you've seen out there on projects that you would like to try, drop them in the comments. I'd love to include that in the live next year. That's what I want for you guys. If you're kind of a little sheepish about trying a project with something you have laying around the house, I'll try it. We have the materials, and if I don't have it, I'll get it just for you. And so that being said... I wanted to share with you something we're working on, home decor this this week. So we're doing something a little bit different here. I wanted to share that message with you. And then also just wanted to show you what the project around this house is. This year we're going a little non-traditional on the decorations and we're doing just what I was talking about. I wanted to go with an outdoor themed tree, but I didn't want to spend tons of money on those decorations that I knew that I could make. So let me give you a few ideas on some ornaments that you can make if you're looking to do a theme tree this year. So first of all, we have, hopefully this all doesn't fall off the side. We have some clear ornaments that have feathers on the inside. This has fe pheasant feathers. I'm really having a hard time talking. And some feathers on the outside. So these clear bulbs are super inexpensive. Hobby Lobby, Walmart, wherever you can get them on super good clearance right now, that's the trick. You take the top off, you shove all those little feathers down in there, and that's a beautiful ornament. Um, another thing that I have, these aren't drilled, but you can get these flat discs, and you can draw on them, you can paint on them. We burned these, but you can put whatever you want on here. I'm planning to make some of these with names for everyone in the family, and we'll be hanging those on the tree. So you drill a little hole in there, hang them up on the tree, and that'll have everybody's name on them. Um, I've also taken some bigger groupings of pheasant feathers because I had so many pheasant feathers. I grouped them together and I used a little bit of ribbon and just wrapped it around to keep them all together. So you can hang them like this on a little string in the tree or you can put a little clip on them and hang them up in a branch. So I've kind of just tucked them in here like this for now, but you can do lots of different things with these. Um, okay, duck wings for those of you guys who've seen some of my lives lately. I've been doing lots of things with these wings. We've got duck wings, feather wings, pheasant wings, and a lot of variety of different things. And I had these other wings that I wasn't doing anything with, so I thought, how cute is that? But to stick those right in the tree, and it's really, really perfect for the theme that we have going this year. So I'll have those all spread out around the tree entirely. I've got some cattails stuck in here. I've got another duck wing up here. I do have some goose feathers in this one. It's a little bit bigger bulb. You can get glass bulbs or plastic bulbs. And um, what I the, what I did here was I just put a little bit of hot glue on the outside and highlighted it with a few little feathers like that for there. Um, I did pick up some, some of these little antlers because big antlers um, are a little heavy in the tree for those of you who have antlers. So I did purchase some of these like more inexpensive antlers just as a little piece of decor. Um, so we've got that. But yeah, so I'm trying to find lots and lots of different outdoorsy things. I have some um, deer hide, some bear hide. I'm going to be covering some of these um, with some bear hide and then doing a silhouette of a bear. Uh, the same thing with some deer hide. I have a little bit of extra from some of the mounts that we did. So I'll show you those in another, just another snap later this week when I get those done and I have them hung up. So my question for you is, A, are any of you doing an outdoor themed tree this year or have you done one in the past? I'd love to see pictures because this isn't just about me showing you what we're working on. I love to see what you guys are working on because there are so many creative people out there. If you have ideas on what else we could add to this tree, drop it in the comments below. Drop it. 
drop a picture in the comments below of maybe some other ideas you have. I need to fill this tree and I have tons of supplies. I was just remembering I have acorns, I've got pine cones, I've got tons of stuff. So first of all, show me what you guys are doing. What are you doing for Christmas around the house that would bring a little bit of the outdoors inside? Because it's hunting season, let's face it, it's awesome, we're outside all the time. But when I'm inside, I wanna be out in the woods. So I love to surround myself with things that remind me of being outdoors. And I know that most of you are the same. If you're watching, you love the outdoors. So drop some comments in the below and let's see what's going on. What do you guys have for decor? What are you guys working on for ideas for Christmas presents? Let's just get some conversation going. This week, let's make it about you guys. Let me know how things are going for you this holiday season. And if I can be of any inspiration for you guys, let me know if you have items and you're not sure what to do with them. So as always, thank you so much for joining me. We went a little non-traditional this week, but I really wanna get a little discussion going with you guys and hear how your season's going, how your hunting's going. You know, let me know if you have any extra questions. I'm always here to answer any questions that you have and um, continue the conversation as a community. So always, always be creative. Let the fun flow. Don't be worried about the judgment. Let that go. And let's just see how creative you guys can get inexpensively and really create some magical memory decor for the people around you. So if you like this video, please, please share it on your page so that you can find it again when you're looking and also so that other people can get involved and take part in our community as well and share some inspiration on what projects they might be working on. So again, this is Angie Gady here in Brilliant, Wisconsin. You will find us here Thursday nights, 8 p.m. Central, every week where we talk about new, exciting, and sometimes odd projects, um, creating memory decor so we can bring the outdoors inside and relive those experiences time and time again. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful night and join us next week, Thursday night, 8 p.m. Central, where we'll be showing you the top 20 lists of Christmas gifts for him. So you're definitely not gonna wanna miss that. If you missed it last week, we did top 20 gifts for her uh, for the women in your life who love the outdoors and you're looking for something a little different and special. So again, reach out if you have any questions, comments below, uh, or shoot me a private message. So have a fantastic night, everybody. Thanks. Bye.